American veterans of Igbo descent, Avid, has written a letter to Kenya President Kenyatta to find a means of facilitating the unconditional release of Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pop. Havid expressed his displeasure with Kenyatta for adopting Kanu and extraditing him to the Nigerian government for seeking liberation for his Igbo people. The group, which comprises Igbo men and women that are serving or served in different security agencies in the United States, told the Kenyan leader that a Nigerian former president, late Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, served his father, Jomo Kenyatta, who was involved in similar agitation from the same fate he was to suffer in the hands of British authorities. They berated the leader of the East African nation for betraying Namdi Kano by handing him over to the enemies that want to persecute him for defending his people. Havid said this in a letter signed by his president, Chief Sylvester Onya, dated July 10, 2021, which was made available to Sahara reporters. The American veterans of Igbo descent, Avid, just received an urgent enter. We need to exploit with you, bordering on the abduction of a political activist globally known as Marzi Namdekano, a Biafran British citizen with your, within your country. Havid is compromised of Igbo ethnic men and women who honorably served or are currently serving in different armed branches of the United States military. Under Title 38 of the U.S. Code, a veteran is defined as a person who served in the active military, never or air service, and who was discharged or released, therefore, under conditions other than dishonorable. Veteran members of AVID are citizens from all the 50 states in the United States born as Igbo men and women and successfully served in the following United States military branches. 1. The United States Army, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Naval Seal, Sea Hill and Land Specialist, the United States Navy, the United States Air Force, the United States Coast Guard, the United States National Guard, the United States Space Force, U.S. Public Health Service, Commissioned Corps Officers, the Officers, sorry, the United States Army Guard, Head National Guard, Army Reserve, and and Navy Navy Reserve, the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The organization further revealed in the letter how the agitation for Biafra began a few years after Nigeria independence and what has transpired till now. It also informed Kenyatta of how the Nigerian government sent its security agents to invade Kano's house, in which people were killed in 2017, but the IPOB leader escaped. The nation called Nigeria has never known peace since the amalgamation of the North and the South by the British in 1914. You might be aware of the historic Biafran War which lasted from 1967 to 1970. The war was a quest for self-determination of the Igbo people and attempted participation from Fulani terrorist Muslims. Statistically, 2.5 million Igbo children, women, and defenseless men perished in the genocide. Because of the gruesome rape of young Igbo girls and married women, unprovoked killings, land grabbing, massacring, massacre, miming by the Fulani men with no accountability, the Eastern Nigerian men pledged, slaughtered, and mass with their indeed with within their indigenous ancestral land 
with no consequences and grand plan by the Nigerian Fulani Islamic led jihadist government to violently eliminate all Igbo Christian ethnic people and repopulate our ancestral land with Fulani Muslims. Nigerian government acts of support for Boko Haram terrorists and Mietihala Muslim Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magbag. This association is the leadership of the Fulani terrorist groups disguising as headers in Nigeria. A credible se service rights leader, Mazin Namdekanu, established the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and a security outfit called Eastern Security Network to protect our people. Ikano has been a target for assassination by the Nigerian government. There has been the deployment of the army to his home to kill him, and Operation Coded Operation Python Dance. His home was related with bullets. 25 young men were killed, but they miraculously, but miraculously he escaped. We are therefore upset and saddened by your connection with the Nigerian terrorist organization government to adopt, kidnap an unarmed son and a liberation political activist, LPA, whom you should have protected and celebrated in support of democracy and freedom, the later continued. The group went further to compare the fate of the Odan Kiata, whom Azikiwe saved and how younger Kiata decided to hand over Kano to his enemy. So guys, <laughs> this is this. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.